Hey coaches, with our work with our clients, it is always important for us to have something ready to help them process the challenging, the negative thoughts that can get in the way of their success. Part of that comes into play when a client comes to the session with the thinking of, how am I supposed to have any kind of success with everything going wrong in the world, everything going wrong with my family, everything going wrong with my company? Now, sometimes this kind of prompt might point to the need for therapy, but often is the case with coaching because it's a normal experience with humanity. And the, the client is in a lower mood. We could use a little bit of support, reframing the current circumstances to broaden their perspective. And there is definite benefits to being able to broaden one's perspective. We want to support our clients in recognizing that when we are in a negative state, when our mind is focusing a bit on what went wrong this past week, this past day, with the recent event that they were a part of, it's a shared experience. Everyone experiences obstacles. Some bounce back a bit faster. But that ability to demonstrate resilience is a key part of being successful. So let's look at an exercise we can offer to our, our clients to help them reframe a negative experience. And part of this is to start with what were some of the details of that negative experience. Here we can note what is on the mind about that negative experience. We can acknowledge the challenge of the day and the three things that were most challenging as a part of that. We can acknowledge the three obstacles that got in the way or any mix of these things. It might actually be three separate events in the same day or in the same week that all went wrong. So in this case, we're helping them set the stage, just acknowledge, not sit in the soup, not amplify the negative emotions, just state succinctly some of the details about the negative event or events that are most on their mind from this past week or maybe day or event. And then from there, we can begin asking some powerful questions to help explore a bit of a reframe. So we can call three positives to balance each negative. So for every negative experience or every negative thought, there's a benefit of cleaning that from our mind a little bit or taking a bit of the power from that negative experience by dwelling on, calling to mind, three positive thoughts or three positives that are a result of or related to that negative experience. So some of the questions we could ask would be, what opportunity might this negative experience, this overall experience from the past week have opened up for you? What positive experience might this lead to in essence? Through this, who were you able to interact with? Or who might you be able to interact with? How did you grow or will you grow through the experience? What valuable insight did you learn? How did you stretch yourself? What are you now realizing about yourself when it comes to your ability to handle these types of negative experiences? And even in the midst of this experience, what went well today or this week? What were you able to do well, even in the face of the adversity? So with all of these questions, we want to make sure that we are framing them towards the positive direction, that we are guiding the client to think about things in terms of an actual reframe. And we also want to make sure that we're not uh, encouraging wishful thinking. It's not that we want them to bury their head in the sand and ignore the reality. Instead, we want to call their attention and help themselves process what else is a part of the reality. And so what you'll see in the PDF or the PowerPoint as part of this lesson, it's a little three by three exercise. In this visual, we're seeing the negative thoughts on the bottom, the positives on top. But the idea is to briefly fill in each of these boxes in order to balance our awareness of what was the biggest challenge, obstacle, negative, and then three positives, three related positive facts that help balance out the negatives. Now, additional piece can be that we can help the client consider what they're grateful for as well. 
gratitude being one of the most valuable things that they can experience or practice as part of their happiness habits, we can also make the gra gratitude be an overarching part of the reflection. So as they reflect on the, the major negatives from this past week, here are the positives that were in relation to them. They were able to demonstrate these positive things, even in the midst of the adversity. These are the positives that the challenges kind of led them to. This is the silver lining. Therefore, what are you grateful for as you look holistically at this past week, at this past event, and so on? What we're doing is not just simple wishful thinking, just simple positivity. Instead, we're helping the client exercise a reframe that helps them think about future negative experiences in a different light. So the more they might practice this exercise as something between the sessions is, again, part of the, that idea of a happiness habit, the more likely they will be able to demonstrate that resilience that helps them bounce back and become more successful with a fulfilling success based on happiness, joy, and gratitude. Now, one alternative, of course, would just be to focus on the positives. What are some positives from this past week? Three events from the past week and three positives from each of them. And therefore, what are you grateful for? Whichever opportunity or option you choose to offer to your clients, make sure to frame it well, that there is value. There is scientific studies that highlight the benefit of focusing on the whole picture. The mind is often looking at the negatives. Therefore, there's value in making a concerted effort to bring in the other pieces of data, the news, the media, all sorts of messaging out there, marketing, and other people around us are often going to bring those negatives in. What are we doing and what are we helping our clients to do in order to balance that with the reality of happiness? Thank you for bringing this as an option to your clients, and thank you for coaching and supporting their growth and development.